Each Sunday, we encourage you to share your Second Amendment sticker collections. In this series, we're going to dig into our sticker collection and explore the stickers that we've collected over the last 15 or so years. This is what you've been waiting for. Second Amendment Sticker Sunday Story Series Blue episode. That's happening right now. Blue, the best color there is. Better than red. Blue. So yeah, we got a bunch of stickers out here. We've been going through the sticker collection. I'm segregating my stickers. I no longer feel it's appropriate to separate my stickers by size. I now separate them by color. So I spread them all out here on this 4x4 piece of plywood. And each Sunday... You have to sit here and watch me go through my stickers and talk about random garbage. This is a real waste of time. Or it's the best thing that's ever happened on YouTube. You'll have to let us know in the comments what you think. And over on Patreon, have you ever thought about taking 20 bucks and throwing 2 bucks at us so that we can keep doing what we're doing, but then taking that other 18 bucks and throwing it out as if you're the boss of the internet and you're deciding which content gets two bucks each month. And if that thousand people did that, we'd see projects out there turn into superstars and they do all kinds of cool stuff. And maybe some of them would crash and burn and some of you would like that, but others would rise and innovate and change the way that we watch stuff online. So consider Patreon and then maybe some uh, firearms related organization, one of these big time companies with all the blue power uh, and money will uh, see that Patreon's working and this Second Amendment stuff has happened and then maybe they'll cut, kick in something not on Patreon but a platform itself that's Second Amendment focused that does the job of what Patreon does. So whatever, I can keep dreaming and until then we're going to look at blue stickers on this table. Where do we dig in? Let's start with the Blue Force gear. Uh, good, made in the USA stuff. Can't say good, enough good stuff about Blue Force gear because it's freaking awesome. Uh, Spiritus Systems. I don't know, I should probably know more about it, but I do like this critter from Empire on a blue background. Rough wear. I think I got this sticker with some stuff I bought for uh, a dog that y'all don't know from back in the day. Uh, then we got UTG, uh, got about a zillion of these stickers. If you want one and you ever order anything, ever order anything from us, let me know. I think I have exactly one zillion of these and I could let you have at least a handful. Uh, Palmetto State, I considered this a blue one because we never did a gray one. Everybody knows what Palmetto State is. This is an interesting one from Hogden. I don't know what they're trying to do with that, but I'm calling it blue and I put it in this list. FN is a company that makes guns. We got Smith & Wesson, we got SIG, right? So we got all that going on. We got Gem Tech, and this is back when they thought it was cool to make little Lego dudes and put them on stickers. And I don't know why more people don't do stuff like that, because that's as cool as hell, and who wouldn't want that sticker? Next, we got RMR Bullets, and I'm calling that blue, even though it kind of looks purple. We got the Klashnikov, a company that isn't afraid to, to copyright somebody's last name and not even give the people or the family anything for it that I'm aware of. Next we got GLT, a sticker that says GLT on it and it's blue. We've got this mess with, don't mess with Texas. Probably shouldn't not read the top part because then you'd get in trouble. And there's no way I'm calling Texas red. The hell, I used to live in Texas. Of course that's a blue sticker. Uh, my FU Media sticker that there's no way to buy. In fact, there's no way to get these. I'll have to see if I can get some more made up. But, uh, Thank you for the people that support what we do, and every once in a while we send out stuff like that to say thanks to you. We've got the Lapua sticker there, which has a lot of blue in it. Now, I don't know if one of these is a typo, but I've got these 10-year uh, anniversary PMAG stickers, and one of them has the yellow inside the writing in the cartridge, and the other one doesn't. So I don't know if that was intentional or not, but if it isn't, this is like getting an upside-down printed quarter or something. That's worth so much money, and I'm never selling it until I need it for pay a bill and then I'll sell it make money so next we got the flying fisherman I don't know what that is some sort of polarized sunglasses I have no idea where I got that one ALG you call it purple I'm calling it blue Winchester for some reason I think this is one of the coolest pet stickers it kind of looks like the end of a box of ammo but uh it just says ball powder on it we got one from Windham weaponry got one from Yeti 
from whatever ABM ammo is. Got one from this place, which uh, I think I got this either last year or this year at SHOT Show. I don't know what's going on with that, but I like it. And Meg Gear uh, MH, a mile above the rest. Something with the blue sticker. Hogue Knives with the blue sticker. And I guess that's it. So we're calling it. That's the blues. I'm already ticked still, but I'm going to take another one just to be sure. And with this, we only have five minutes. The last time I milked the last video and I just wrung it out until I could get to the 10 minute mark, you know, for the money. This time I'm not going to bother. I didn't even talk about this Olympic arms, but I got this giant Olympic arm sticker as well. And here's what I'm going to do this time. I'm just going to use it to scoop all these up. I am so sick of doing these videos. I've been doing them all afternoon. I don't know what I was thinking, starting a series of videos on stickers. And I have more stickers than some people have since. So uh, I certainly don't have any of either. No, wait, I have lots of stickers, but no sense. Blech. I'm going to have to keep doing this for like a while because I got it going. At some point, I'm going to fall over and I'll just go. Uh, uh, uh. But until then, you're going to see more sticker videos. This is uh, Blue. Let us know in the comments what you think. Until next time, thanks for watching. The guys and gals at gunwebsite.com encourage you to take a CCW course every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day.